Hi guys, so I've got myself a copy of the Heavy Gear paint set from Reaper Miniatures. Uh, this has 36 paints in it. Each of them have been selected to represent the factions of Heavy Gear. So uh, some of the stuff has all the, the names and things changed so that they're more Heavy Gear style names. Um, like I say, there are 36 in it. There are two washes and there are four metallic paints. Um, let's have a wee look at some of the particularly nice ones um, that there are in the box. Um, one that immediately jumped out at me was uh, this, which was McAllen Brown. Um, if any of you guys have been watching any of Roman's tutorials, you'll see that he uses a lot of Royal Navy Brown, and this is very close to it. Um, it's got a little bit of sort of red in it, um, in the brown, so if you were looking for something that's a bit similar, that's the sort of stuff that's similar. Um, there are also some nice colours, like uh, one thing I did notice, there was no flesh colour in this. Um, there is a uh, red dust this is called, which sort of would sort of be a Caucasian flesh colour. Um, if you're painting small uh, soldiers for heavy gear anyway, they're, they're, that, they're that small, that would probably do. Um, but then again, if you were trying to use this as a starter paint set for something that's maybe not heavy gear, it means that it might not suit. However, uh, you can get flesh coloured paint anywhere <laughs> and you can get it from Reaper as well and it'll fit night into the nice little box. Um, there is a Grell flesh Grail flesh is sort of a, a grey colour, very light, uh, almost like a light concrete stone colour. Um, I suppose you could almost call it like a dead flesh colour. Um, so that's about the only colour that actually identifies itself as flesh in the in the uh, the box here. There's a nice hazard yellow, which is a sort of a, an orange, uh, orangey yellow colour. Um, this is the sort of one you use to paint those black and yellow stripes that uh, are used for hazard markings. Um, it's really quite a nice colour, and it's not one you see that often, and it's not one I've come across actually. Um, I suppose that you, you could maybe, obviously, if you were a man, you'd mix it yourself, um, but uh, if you were wanting one straight out of the pot, uh, that's a really nice one to have as a bit of hazard yellow. Um, other than that, one of the excellent additions for guys like me who are not as proficient as uh, perhaps some of the other artists, um, there's uh, two washes. Um, we've got a brown wash and we've got the black wash. Brown wash, of course, can be used just generally to, to shade almost anything because it's got a nice neutral tone to it, um, perhaps except white because it makes white look a bit dirty. But um, other than that, it's got two washes in there. Uh, you've got all your basic colours as well. So there's white, black, yellow, blue, green. So if you wanted to get your wet palette out and start uh, doing some mixing, there's all the colours there that you need. To, uh, to make up any colour you want. Other than that, there are a couple of spaces in the foam. Um, I don't know whether you can see. Uh, there's a foam space here for putting your paintbrushes in, and then there's some more little spaces just for putting, I suppose, your, your bits and bobs um, that you want, to, you want to add to your paint set. So other than that, I have to say, I really do like this because it looks like a lunchbox I used to have like when I was a kid, although I think mine had transformers on it. So guys, there you go. Um, that's the Reaper paint set from, uh, from for Heavy Gear. Um, why don't you guys drop some comments below. Tell us what you think. Um, there's a list of the colours that are in here. Um, if there's anything else you want to see in the line of paints, why not give us, uh, drop us a line and see if we can uh, do some reviews of it. Other than that, I'll make sure to get Roman to paint something from Heavy Gear using this box the next time I see him. So guys, we'll see you later and we'll get on and make some more Heavy Gear videos.